What is up guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I am going to talk a little bit about the Elgato Camlink 4K. If you have watched my previous video where I was talking about my new studio gear which is a Fujifilm X-T3 camera and I also already made a video on the unlimited power for the Fuji X-T3 and I promised in this video that I will do another video on the Elgato Camlink 4K with the Fuji X-T3. And uh, the Elgato Camlink is basically uh, a device that lets you directly feed your camera input via HDMI into your computer which allows you to record directly through your DSLR or your mirrorless camera into OBS Studio or any other capture software. I'm using this in my daily workflow now when I create videos. I hook up the camera directly via uh, Camlink to my PC and I hit the record button in OBS Studio and it records right from my camera. That's also a good way on how to get a really good video quality for a fairly cheap price. This thing costs, in at least in Germany, around 129 euros. And you can pick it up on Amazon, I put the link in the description below. This is actually the newest version of the Elgato Cam Link that was just released recently. And the Elgato Cam Link has, uh, the Elgato Cam Link has a website where uh, supported camera models are listed. The Fujifilm cameras, actually any of the Fujifilm cameras, is not to be found on this list. There is only Canon, Sony and I think Nikon maybe, something like this, but no Fuji cameras. So it was a little bit of a gamble if it would actually work and uh, because of that I wanted to create this video and show you guys that it in fact does work and it works really well. I will show you the OBS capture window in a second where I hooked up my X-T3 and I just wanted to tell you what you need. You need this uh, Elgato Cam Link for once and you need a HDMI cable that goes from the Cam Link into your uh, Fuji X-T3. And actually if you go on Amazon and you put it in your uh, basket, Amazon automatically offers you a uh, proper HDMI cable with it. I have a 5 meter or I think 5 or 4 meters, something like this, uh, HDMI cable and I was a little bit worried that it would be too long but it works perfectly and uh, you need uh, basically a cable which is normal HDMI to mini HDMI which is the input in the Fujifilm X-T3 and uh, then you just connect it together and it almost works. I, I actually needed to go ahead and download the Elgato game capture software and install it uh, I didn't get a picture before, I don't know if it was just because I didn't restart my comp or out of some other dubious reason, but uh, what made it work for me was simply downloading this game capture software. And I, I'm not using the software, I'm just, I just installed it and I restarted my computer and that's maybe connected because I didn't, inst uh, didn't restart the computer after plugging in the cam link for the first time and the drivers got installed and stuff like this. So that might be also a reason. You can try it with just installing the driver for the cam link, restarting your computer and then hooking up your X-T3 and starting up OBS Studio. Alright, so I think it's a really simple setup if you don't want to get too deep into video editing and all the ins and outs. You just have a thing that you can basically plug between your camera and your computer and you plug it into your USB port on the comp. And that's it. You don't need to uh, plug in any, any hardware, any card or whatever. You just put this thing between your computer and your camera. All right, now I'm going to show you how to set it up in OBS Studio so that you are able to capture video from your Fujifilm X-T3. All right, guys, so we got a little inception going on here, but ignore it for the moment because I need to show you my OBS window. And uh, once you hook up the camera and the Elgato and everything is in place, you just go ahead and fire up OBS and what you want to do is, I cannot do that right now because the screen will turn black so I just show you the uh, process. You click here on the plus, you create a new scene, you can call it X-T3 like here or you can call it Elgato and uh, then you wanna switch to the scene and now you will see that it will already switch over to my Fujifilm X-T3. You wanna switch to this scene and you, now you can see the Fuji filming me from behind in a very awkward angle. Um, angle, 
not anchor. And uh, you want to go ahead and click on plus on sources and you want to add a new video capture device. And once you have selected video capture device, it asks you to provide a device and you want to choose Camlink 4K here. You have two options. You have the Elgato Game Capture HD and you have the Camlink 4K. And I use the Camlink 4K. That's uh, apparently the link from the Elgato itself. And that's all you need to do here. You just click on OK and you, as you can see, it works flawlessly. And that's all there is to it, really, guys. It's so easy to set up and that's why I exactly wanted to share this with you because there are more and more creators coming and everybody needs to start on a low budget and start as easy as possible and I include myself there. I wanted to have a workflow that is as easy as possible and this is by far the easiest solution I have found. So if you want to pick up the Elgato Camlink 4K, please click in the link in the description below. I'll leave a link there to my Amazon store. You can also check out my other studio equipment there that I use in combination with the Elgato. Especially if you use a Fujifilm X-T3, as mentioned before, I highly recommend you buy the Anchor Power Core and the power adapter to permanently power your Fujifilm camera. It's, a, it's an awesome tool for the price. It's also in the Amazon link and there is a video on it on my channel too. So I always appreciate people who create stuff like this, how you can set up a studio on a fairly low budget. And uh, I thought, why not sharing it, especially if it's such an exotic setup with the Fujifilm. I haven't seen anybody else using it for the stuff what I do. And so far, I have to say, I'm really, really satisfied with doing the step and going Fuji and going with the Elgato. It really, really simplified my workflow and made it much, much more enjoyable to create videos. So there will be more videos like this in the future next to the cybersecurity stuff. As I said, more and more creators are on the rise and they need this kind of information. I'm going through a learning process myself, so I thought why not share it as well. All right, guys, if you like this video, you know what to do. Give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit the notification bell to get notified about new videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you back in the next video. Bye.